tonight, however, oh. the weather has changed. Ray, what's going on with the rain? Yeah, we uh, have this uh, disturbance pushing through. This has rain associated with it. And the other side of the coin is it has some cooler temperatures associated with it as well. So we're going to say goodbye to those 70s for a while. I hope you had a chance to use them up, especially since they came with some sunshine attached. Now we're dealing with showers and temperatures tomorrow are likely going to be stuck in the 50s. So we have this rain. It's still cutting through. We're going to get more batches of this rain as the night continues and then again into the day tomorrow. So if uh, you're heading out, grab the umbrella. It's going to be quite useful. We're going to have scattered showers through the morning and then they become even more widespread into the afternoon and evening. So this is going to be a wet and gloomy setup for our Wednesday. So widespread rain. I think it's all out of here by Thursday morning. Thursday through the day will chip away at the clouds a bit. We'll bring in a little sunshine, but I don't know if it's going to be the brightest day around, but we'll get some sunshine. Certainly trying to poke between the clouds. Same deal Friday before our next batch of rain comes in Friday night and lingers into the weekend with even colder temperatures attached, so we are going to progressively get colder. At the moment, we have the mid to upper 50s, which if we weren't at 75 degrees today, everyone would be raving about temperatures like this because 45 is our normal temperature for this time of year, and today we made it 30 degrees warmer than average. We got up to 75 degrees today, not quite a record, which is 78, but it was real close and real warm tonight. We're going to go down a couple more degrees. These temperatures aren't going to move too much tonight, and they're really not going to warm up too much tomorrow. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s, so certainly cooler than those mid 70s. Many of us were enjoying today. The next few days, these temperatures stay pretty much in those upper 50s and low 60s right into Saturday. Sunday, Monday, though, we get back to average for this time of year, which is going to feel quite cold, but again, that's average what the temperatures should be. Tonight, showers, mild temperatures, 53 degrees. Tomorrow, we're only going to warm up a little bit. We're getting up to 57. I think those showers are going to be on and off throughout the day. It will be a little bit cooler than we become accustomed to. And again, at any point, we're going to have this rain to deal with. Most of it is going to be on the lighter side, but it is not going to be a pretty day and a very, very distinct difference to what we've had the past couple days. Now Thursday, Friday, some peaks of sunshine come back. Saturday for the weekend, uh, the rain starts. That lingers into Sunday. Those mild temperatures do not. We see temps return to average for both Sunday and Monday. From there, we're going to see a little more sunshine to kick off next week, but temperatures on Monday are going to be in the mid-40s. We do get a little boost for Tuesday as we return to the mid-50s there.